Hi, it's Luggy Bear Speed. Today I'm gonna set up a system. I've got a blank desk. I was thinking about doing kind of a chilled out track. Today would be kind of interesting to show you how I set up a system and also what I do on the mixing desk to make certain sound. First of all, let's get some kit. I got my mixing desk down here. In here I got my cables, my synth stuff in here, got some Volkers, my Roland e synth. And uh, um, let's start laying some stuff out. Got the old Q16. This thing's a beaut. Grab my Novation SL Mark III. Maybe a mini lug. This is my little mount for my uh, Novation guy. Uh, it's really brilliant. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh, beautiful. And maybe the uh, Model D, because it sounds beautiful. Well, this sounds a kind of a chilled out vibe. Mini log, Model D. Oh, I definitely need the drum. Roland TR8S. Yeah! I go for a Roland DR5. I love this guy. It's just so lovely. No, I'm not feeling that. Let's try an SEO2. Um, how many is that? We've got drums. One, two, three, four. What else? Do you want to have too many synths out? It gets a bit confused. Ah, uh, yeah, actually. Volca FM. This guy's pretty cool. I've got it tracks the sequencing, but I usually always sequence my drums on the TRS. So I usually only use synths for sequencing off this. Um, and I think five, five's enough. Melody on SEO2, maybe a bass line on the Model D. Kind of padsy, weirdy sounds. Maybe an ARP on the mini log or chords because that's a poly, that's a poly, that's mono, mono, and that's a poly. And you can see if we can find some weird, weird sounds with this. Cool, so now I'll just try and lay them out. Desk in the middle, I quite like having access to the desk all the time. Sequence of that, there. I don't have the gap, but it worked. Why are these out all in a beautiful line? I do not need that access to it usually. Looks pretty cool to me. What do you think? Yeah. Right, let's get cabling up. So usually first cable job for me is power. I've got these beautiful lined up power adapters. A better camera position so you can see what I'm doing on a super speedy shot. Okay, that's everything uh, powered up. Everything's working, which we like. So usually I use the Canton MIDI through, MIDI in, um, directly to the Novation SL Mark III MIDI out and then I just use separate MIDI cable. There is stuff with MIDI through but to be honest with you I always just use this because it's just clean and it works. I've never had any MIDI problem. It's the way forward. Let's wire this up. I always end up forgetting to do the power um, so I should do that first. I'm like why is my MIDI not working? It's because I haven't powered this guy up. And I also always MIDI track my um, TR8S from the Novation so I can set the tempo on the Novation and this picks up the tempo. And that was my belly playing the uh, Korg Voltka FM. Next, what do we need? Um, audio. Let's wire up the audio. I'll lay that out in a similar fashion on the mixing desk. Cog mini log here, D05, dang, 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 dang. Uh, let's start wiring up some, wiring up some audio cable. For my Roland D05, I'm gonna do it stereo input. This desk's got three stereo inputs, but it's also, you can gang channels together to create separate, separate stereo inputs as well. So I'll make sure I'm going to put the Roland D05 in stereo because it's got stereo sounds. The Model D, uh, it's just a mono synth, so I'm only going to plug in one cable into the line input. Same with the SEO2. Now for the TR8S, I've actually got four-way looms cables I made up because what's really cool is I can pull out all of the different sounds on different channels on the desk, which means I can compress and I can EQ each different element as I like, which I absolutely love doing. Uh, it gives me way more control. Boom, and that is all my cabling done. 
Oh, apart from this Line 6 unit. Better get another cable from the loft. Sometimes it pays to be a cable hoarder. Oh yeah! And I think I've got the right one to um, hook up this uh, guitar pedal to this mixing desk. Uh, it's got like XLR outs, which is a little bit annoying from the desk. There's no outputs on jacks. Female mini jack to a quarter inch. So that should work. And I've actually run out of, uh, oh no I haven't. Oh, I knew I should have picked the loom up from the loft. Let's go get that one too. Yep, that's even more cables. Right, so that's pretty much the wiring done. But next, I'll start playing with some sounds. Let's do it. I'll also cable up the uh, power for the speakers. Let's reset this channel. So weird sound. So, got the mini log playing. I can Let's get the innovation set up. Go into my templates with shift session. Track number one, I'm going to find my named mini log and channel. I've got these stupid little stickers on that are brilliant. Channel one for my MIDI channel. Uh, obviously each unit you need to set the MIDI channel internally. That's working there. Go back to patterns on here and check it's working and it is. So I was thinking maybe with the mini log it'll be like an ARP or maybe chords. Should we try some chords maybe? Oh that sounds uh, crazy. I like that sound. Uh, let's play around with it for a bit. Definitely want some attack. Oh that sounds lovely. I quite like that kind of thing. Um, let's try a little bit of the delay on it. Yeah, I like that. So I'm going to set tempo. I kind of want like a quite a slowy laid back vibe. Let's try 90 BPM. Let's just drop a nice simple bass line on it. Oh, I quite like the MG888. Maybe even a little bit slower. A little bit faster. Let's go back to patterns. Let's clear these. If we do like a two loop. Oh, I quite like it's quite laid back. So what I'm going to do now is mangle this a little bit. It's got way too much bottom end for my liking. It's got a little bit more low mid. Take out a little bit more bottom end. So it's kind of sound a little bit short. Let me jump there, drop that onto a Nice, leaving lots of space and the comp is going to really control this. So I'm going to go into the peak one. I'm going to go super fast. That's really working hard. Getting after the comp. Sounds kind of nice and glitchy. Yeah, boy. Uh, that would sound lovely in this effect. What have I got set for my effects? Number one, the geared reverb. That sounds quite nice. Let's go back to the processing on my channel. That sounds pretty nice. Let's get a nice pad on it now and we'll try with the Roland DO5. So I set my channel to control the Roland DO5. It's on MIDI channel 11. Let's go to my templates. It's like a list of all the synths that I'd love to own, but I don't. Number 11. Let's go to patterns. Make sure they're all cleared. Bang, 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 bang. Usually turn the other elements down so I can hear this a little bit louder. Oh, I quite like that. Let's just drop some in on that. Make sure I'm on the first bar. Here we go. One, two, three, four.
I actually quite liked that as a four bar, so stop that, turn up just a four bar, let's hear it. Yeah! So I'm processing the strings, again high pass filter. Now what I already know is I've got quite a lot of stuff going on in this section from my other sound. So I'm going to thin that out a little bit. I'm going to give it a little boost low down I think. So i got a little bit of bottom mid range. Thin out the top a little bit. Maybe thin out the high mid, but then I'll shove some really high in. Just a little sparkly 8k. Let's listen to that without. That should fit better with my other sound. Sounds alright. But what we need is loads of effects. Using my effects engine number two. Two taps to the that's what I'm looking for. The other day I used this delay craft work, sounded pretty good. Sounds alright, gives it a little bit more back. Right, let's try a little bit of model D, see if we can get some bumpy bass lines or something. I like that, it's kind of weird and interesting. Alright, let's blow it in. Record. Alright. Let's the comp in. Quite like that. Get to decay, but then it cuts, which is kind of cool. See so what I like the sound of up here. That's yeah, around 800, 700. Obviously, not that much, but I quite like some more nice frequency in that. Make it thin. I like what's happening in that compression actually. Just a little tickle. That's a bit nicer. Okay, so we're kind of getting there with something. I haven't done an ARP yet, maybe like a. Maybe with the Volca FM. My Volca FM is going to be on this channel. Templates. Volca FM, and it's on channel. Number seven. So this guy is coming into number two. Oh, there's someone playing on it. Function clear. Oh, yay. I'm going to set this up as an ARP. Hmm, music box. Let's have a look at setting up the ARP. So at the moment on the SEO2, there's only one ARP, which kind of sucks by the way. Um, but anyways, we're on part number one, two, three, four, five. So if we go to the ARP, we select part number five. Shift and ARP will actually turn it on. Quite like it quite fast. Turn off the record and let's play around a bit. Maybe we could do the random one. You know. No, maybe up and down. I like it. Do some processing on this thing. Now with my effects on here, I'm definitely going to pull out a lot of that bottom end. Look how much difference that makes. Beautiful. Controller with a bit of compression. Yeah, it's done to compress this fine, super fast, fast release, just a little tickle. Nah, yeah, I don't like it, actually, let's leave it. 
So I want to put this in a reverb all the time. So let's go to effects. Effects number three. If I go to the back panel, I can actually just make this an insert. I'm going to insert it onto my stereo line two. And I want it to be a reverb. Let's try a different reverb. SEO2, let's get a sound for that. Cool, let's record that, that sounds kind of cool. Okay, let's thin it out a little bit again. Let's get some something quite sharp is what I'm gonna try and find. I don't like that. This one kinda nice. Compress it a little bit. Back to EQ come by the bottom end. Give me a little pass. And we definitely want some kind of like weirdy verb on that. So let's go back to effects. I'm gonna put effects number four as I insert again. Insert it on my channel number four, which is where this is. Apply that, press the insert button. Let's check out the modulations. And then I'm gonna also throw that into this. Good reverb. Sounds pretty cool. Let's set this kit up. So I want shift edit, roll all the way to outputs. I've got kick drum and I'm gonna hit enter and throw that into the sign number one. Should throw it into. So yeah, I want the kind of kick to be a little bit woolly. So if you hit snare, it will take you to your sign. Get really backgroundy. And then finally. Now what's also cool with this desk is I can set it up as a custom layer. Stereos up here on that layer. But I don't want them there. So let's go set up controls, custom layer, number one. I'll have that as number one. Number two, I will have a stereo two. I've got a stereo number two. Sounds so confusing. Well, it's not once it's set up. So I've got my drums, not my synths. All right, let's EQ this a little bit more so I can get it to sound better. So start from just my kick, I think. And the bass. I think that sound could actually be even more... Yeah, so I've got the pad dipped down at 7, 800 hertz because I didn't like the sound of it there. So it makes sense on my... Like that sing in that space. It's like quite like the idea of that snare. Oh yeah, sounds nice into that. So that's kind of the setup of the track. It's kind of a groovy thing. Probably only like a two, two and a half, three minute track. Just something a bit chilled. So yeah, I'll do some takes.
What's pretty cool is on my beautiful little desk, I'm recording straight to USB. There's no computer. Go set up, USB, oh, in and out USB, I'm recording LR. So I'm gonna record literally just the LR. And then all you do is you go home, Q, stereo record. You can actually do multi-track record, but you know, I've done my mixing already. And now let's have fun. 